Tan, a laser slaughter, and a laser alisfant. In February 2023, police officers in Waterbury, Connecticut got a tip from someone who reported seeing a Hyundai sedan that had been stolen. When law enforcement tried to arrest two young women who were in the car, later identified as 18-year-old Eliza Slaughter and 22-year-old Eliza Alisfant, the driver suddenly hit the gas and struck a police cruiser. The women then got out and fled on foot but were quickly apprehended. Police seized 14.9 grams of cocaine, 25 baggies containing a mixture of heroin and fentanyl, and a loaded ghost gun from them. As a convicted felon, Alay's Ali's fat was already banned from having firearms in her possession. So, she and Slaughter were each charged with weapons in a motor vehicle, theft of a motor vehicle, second-degree criminal trover, interfering with an officer, possession of narcotics with intent to sell, and possession of over a half ounce of cocaine in freebase form. Ali's fan was also charged with three additional gun-related counts, while Slaughter faced two extra counts of assaulting an officer. In addition to the recent charges, Slaughter was already wanted on a warrant for robbery, larceny, and threatening. A police spokesperson spoke with CT Insider and said that both women were considered suspects in even more incidents involving stolen cars. According to state records, Slaughter is currently behind bars for a pending assault charge. The status of Ali's fans' legal situation is unclear, but one thing is known, these two women were bad news. 9. Lacey Watson While working a routine patrol in Ocala, Florida during October 2014, police officer Jeffrey Hall tried to pull over a Lincoln for running past a stop sign. As he sped up and got closer to the car in question, he recognized it as belonging to 19-year-old named Lacey Watson, the girlfriend of a wanted felon in the area named Ison Tion Thomas. At the time, Thomas was actually inside the car with Watson, making the situation more intense. According to law enforcement, the young woman had been questioned regarding Thomas's whereabouts and denied knowing where he was. That clearly was not the case that day. Officer Hall switched his lights on, but instead of pulling over, the driver sped up. After driving through a parking lot and over a few speed bumps at an unsafe speed, the car came to a sudden stop. Thomas then got out of the vehicle and ran into a nearby wooded area. A pair of officers chased after him and quickly arrested him, at which point they realized that Watson had fled the scene with her car. The vehicle was later discovered in an apartment complex parking lot. A drug canine detected something suspicious in the car, giving police probable cause to search through it. They spotted cocaine and a duffel bag holding marijuana. In addition to the battery charge he was already wanted for, Ascension Thomas was charged with cocaine possession, marijuana possession, and resisting arrest. Watson was also arrested for her role and eluding the police. 8. The Sharban Mystery in December 2022, when 37-year-old Nishaban Mistry hit an elderly pedestrian with Ozadly thought she'd just hit a bush. So she continued driving, and the pedestrian passed away from their injuries. By the time Mistry returned to the scene, this time on foot, it was already flooded with emergency responders and police officers. A search of her cell phone revealed that she conducted several incriminating Google searches after the crash, including what happens to hit-and-run drivers who were later found by their license plates, police hit-and-run procedure UK, do most hit-and-run drivers get caught, can you get away with a hit-and-run, and do the police usually find the people behind hit-and-run accidents. These searches indicated that she knew what she'd done and tried to play dumb. Mystery managed to avoid getting any prison time after pleading guilty to failing to stop or report a road accident. She was handed a 17-week suspended jail sentence, was banned from driving for a year, was ordered to perform community service, and also had to attend a rehabilitative program. The sentence seemed shockingly easy to many, considering the severity of Mystery's crime. But she only had a second to react after seeing the pedestrian, according to a police spokesperson, who said that the person who was hit was hidden from view of the road. In other words, there was little to no evidence suggesting that Mystery was driving erratically. 
Her biggest mistake was her decision to leave the crime scene, and her subsequent Google searches didn't exactly help her case. 7. Ecuadorian Grenade Gang Blows Itself Up While carrying out a botched home invasion in La Concordia, Ecuador in September 2023, a gang of six disguised criminals opened fire on the property before suddenly fleeing the scene as if they'd been spotted. Security footage from the neighborhood showed the suspects running toward their getaway car as the driver revved up the engine. Just seconds after everyone crammed inside and the group started to drive away, the getaway car erupted into flames. One of the suspects had reportedly pulled the pin on a hand grenade and forgot to throw it away. He instead took it into the car with him. According to some reports, four of the men were killed instantly on impact, while the other two were seriously injured. Local law enforcement claimed that no injuries had been reported in the area the night of the blast, even after police contacted local medical facilities to see if any of the suspects sought treatment for injuries. Authorities also said that they hadn't received any calls from the homeowner who was targeted in the intrusion. For now, the circumstances surrounding the incident remain unclear, and the suspects' identities and motives for targeting the house also remain a mystery. 6. Lewis Tracy In October 2022, a group of four criminals decided to recruit 22-year-old Lewis Tracy as their fifth member before conducting a home invasion they planned to commit in Birmingham, England. The young man's role was to snap the lock on the front door while his machete-wielding masked accomplices entered the home and did the robbery. The plot was foiled when the intruders realized the targeted family was still home. They quickly reversed course and left the scene in two getaway cars. As of 2023, everyone involved except for Lewis Tracy is unidentified. Tracy turned his ankle off before the burglary, but he somehow forgot that he was wearing an ankle monitor for a past crime. Needless to say, police had an easy time tracking his location while the identities of his co-conspirators have proven more difficult to trace. Tracy soon pleaded guilty to aggravated burglary and was sentenced to seven years in prison. He expressed remorse for his actions, and his defense attorney argued that his client was carrying the weight of the punishment for all five intruders, since the others remain at large. 5. Danny Patrick In 2022, a 35-year-old creep from Britain named Danny Patrick started stalking four female victims. He followed the women often in order to find out where they lived and even began delivering anonymous handwritten letters to their houses. In the letters, Patrick wrote that he was their secret admirer and asked them to text message him with their name and age if they wanted to find out his identity and see what he wanted. He didn't sign his name, but he included his cell phone number, making it easier for police officers to identify him as the primary suspect. The first victim brushed off the first note she received, assuming it had been meant for someone else or that it was just a big prank. She later started to worry when she got another letter two days later. This note was much more inappropriate than the first, and her doorbell camera captured footage of Patrick hand-delivering it to her house. At that point, she felt terrified and feared that Patrick would come back and spy on her. She even stopped going outside unless completely necessary. In a note to another one of the victims, Patrick allegedly said that he had had eyes on the woman for quite some time and even described her as sexy. The women who received the disturbing letters started living in fear as they went about their daily lives, and they found themselves changing their usual routines to avoid being spied on. Patrick has a history of these kinds of crimes, according to police, and he also has a history of violating rules surrounding his previous convictions. He pleaded guilty to four more charges in connection to his most recent crimes and was handed a 20-month jail sentence, as well as a 10-year restraining order, banning him from ever contacting the victims again. 4. Terry Lewis Over a three-month period in 2022, a homeless British burglar named Terry Lewis went on a crime spree throughout Cambridge, England, targeting churches, charity shops, and other businesses. Driven mainly by addiction, the 46-year-old took a church collection box, thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, and cash. He even stole hundreds of dollars from a hospice nonprofit. 
Lewis sometimes left crime scenes without taking anything, while leaving many clues behind at the same time, like his birth certificate, prison ID cards, footprints, DNA, and surveillance footage. Described by Crown Prosecutor Ryan Parker as a prolific opportunistic burglar, Lewis eventually pleaded guilty to five counts of burglary and one count of attempted burglary after getting caught. He was sentenced to one year in jail. He also admitted to nine additional burglaries which were factored into his sentence. 3. Dr. Jacqueline Cotterack In August 2010, after a night out drinking in Bakersfield, California, a 49-year-old doctor named Jacqueline Cotterack went to her estranged boyfriend's house, William Moody. The man didn't want a confrontation that day, so he slipped out the back door and spent the night somewhere else. Cotterack was reported missing the next day. Knowing she was last seen at Moody's house, police searched the property but found no sign of the missing woman. A few weeks later, the inside of Moody's house started to smell extremely bad. Police were called back to the scene and this time they located Cotterack. She'd gotten stuck in the chimney flue and passed away while trying to get into her ex's house. After failing to break the back door in with a shovel, she decided to climb up to the roof using a ladder and shimmy down the chimney. Moody told Bakersfield.com that he couldn't imagine Cotterang behaving the way she did unless she was intoxicated. No alcohol or drugs were found in her system, but her body was so decomposed by the time it was spotted that anything she drank that night likely already metabolized. Cotterack had some prescription medication still in her system, but they were all at normal levels. The coroner ruled that she'd suffocated and that her death was a major accident. But it's impossible to know what was going through her mind during her last night alive and what might have caused her to act so strangely. 2. Samuel Wormsley In October 2021, an Audi with two young men inside failed to stop before crashing in Lancashire, England. The occupants, later identified as Samuel Walmsley and Noah Mulligan, then fled the scene on foot. Inside the car, police officers discovered a number of tools that are usually used in burglaries. Walmsley and Mulligan were soon arrested in connection to the crash. Meanwhile, detectives uncovered evidence that the young men and 12 other suspects were part of a gang involved in drug dealing and trafficking, vehicle thefts, and more criminal conspiracies. Some of the most incriminating evidence was seen in the suspect's phones. Wormsley's device held photos and videos of him showing off large wads of cash, which he posted online to Snapchat. He also filmed a fellow gang member in a stolen car and described a successful burglary as a job well done. There were also images of stolen items taken during robberies and videos of gang members breaking into a vehicle. Other suspect cell phones had similar messages, photos, and videos. In the clips, the young men were seen laughing about their crimes. Altogether, 14 men were convicted on charges relating to their gang activity. They received prison sentences totaling almost 50 years. Walmsley was sentenced to two years and four months in prison, and he endured the humiliation of having one of his photos turned into a meme. After he was sentenced, the Lancashire police tweeted a side-by-side -side image of Walmsley during his gang days with a stack of money in his hand and his mugshot. The agency played along with the online attention and captioned the post, how it started versus how it's going. 1. Kyle Wood In 2022, while robbing a victim at Knife Point in Long Eaton, Derbyshire, one night, a man later identified as 34-year-old Kyle Wood made the stupid mistake of yelling his own name out loud. A bystander was trying to step in and help when he shouted, Do you know who I am? before loudly declaring his identity in the street for all to hear. It made it easy for law enforcement to track him down as the prime suspect in the robbery, along with a similar incident that happened around the same time. Wood allegedly attacked two male victims as they were getting off buses around midnight. He was well known to police who said he had a history of drug abuse and was known to use cocaine. His violent behavior caused at least one of the robbery victims to be scared for their life. During one of the crimes, a co-defendant later identified as Amy Turner allegedly held the victim's hair and demanded money while Wood held the knife against the victim's back. 
Turner later denied any involvement in the crimes, but ultimately pleaded guilty to helping with one of the robberies. Wood pleaded guilty to both robberies and two knife-related counts. He expressed remorse for what he'd done, but by then he had at least 19 criminal convictions under his belt, leaving one to wonder whether he truly meant the apology. The repeat offender's lawyer claimed that this client committed the robberies during a self-destruct moment in his life at a time when he stopped taking his prescribed medication for mental illness. But there's simply no excuse for the terror Wood inflicted on innocent civilians, and given his history, the judge concluded that it was appropriate to throw him behind bars. He was sentenced to three years and eight months in prison. Thanks for watching. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever gotten caught doing? Let us know in the comments below.